To create drop-down fields, you can either choose the single select or multiple select field tools. Here, maybe we want to build out some more information regarding the patient's pain. So we can add a section here. Simply hover between the rows to insert an empty row. We can pull over the single select field, and this will be for something where you only want to be able to select one option from the dropdown. For instance, level of pain. Here, enter all the values you want to make available. You can either click the green add option button or hit return or enter to quickly add these values. In the generated text box, we will need to include a value button. So here we can say patient reports, say it's eight out of 10 pain. We will need a value for that eight. We can also include a multiple select field for quality of pain. Here we can actually use the two fields, level of pain and quality of pain, to create one sentence. So I'll just include the one value button here. You may select multiple values and they will simply be listed with commas in between them. And then I'll go back to the level of pain field here and connect it so that it reads, patient reports eight out of 10 sharp burning pain. Let's see it in your clinical note. Here we have a drop down for that eight out of 10 pain. Quality of pain, you can select or deselect. And in your complete note, those two fields now form one sentence. This was the first value button for the single select drop down field. And the second value button in the multiple select drop down field populates the quality of pain. Make sure when entering values into either the single select or multiple select fields that each of the values listed for the allowed values is unique. And also, of course, make sure to include the value button in your generated text box. Otherwise, the values that you select from the dropdown will not populate into your completed clinical note.